Who am I that I get to say I lived in Dubai for five months? In paradise. What was supposed to be a two-week trip to Dubai turned into five months. <laughs> My love for this city and the country grew every single day. I didn't want to leave. One of the best days of my life was New Year's 2021. even had one of my wildest dreams come true. I became a skydiver. I was dealing with so much anxiety in my life around this time and skydiving healed that for me. There's such a sense of peace that I have when I'm falling through the sky. But, after five months, it was time for me to leave. Off to my next adventure. Please allow me to show you around one of my favorite countries, Egypt. Oh my gosh, I am in Egypt, you guys. It feels so good, honestly. After five months in Dubai, I have to be honest, I love Dubai. Like, it's my hometown, home city. I love that place so much. It's literally the best. Um, it was a dream to be there for five months. An actual, an absolute dream. Is my mic on? Yes. It was a dream, sorry if you hear the prayer. Uh, the prayer is happening right now. Sorry if you can hear it in the background, but. Yeah, it was an absolute dream being in Dubai for five months. It was insane. I didn't think I was gonna be there that long. and. I thought I was going to be emotional leaving, but I really wasn't emotional leaving because I was ready to go. Dubai to me was becoming too mm, 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 mm. like it was it was becoming too everybody had it, everybody had it, everybody had it. I um seemed like everybody and their moms, moms, grandmama, everybody's boyfriend and girlfriends, 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 everyone's side piece everyone's baby mama was in Dubai so I left I'm like oh, it's time to go and uh, it was I do have a lot of friends there like that was probably one of the best parts of being in Dubai all the connections I made all my friends at skydive Dubai they're like family and I miss them they I actually didn't tell them the last time I went skydiving that it was gonna be my last time I don't know why and like they saw me on Instagram in Egypt and I got like a hundred DMs from all my fellow skydivers at Skydive Dubai and they were like why didn't you tell us it was your last time jumping like come on now and uh, the girl at the office was like we would have given you a free jump if we knew like cause you know every time you jump you gotta pay she's like I would have given you a free jump uh, if you told me it was your last time jumping here and I was like I know but I hope to skydive next week here in Egypt and then I want to skydive as well and the next place I'm going I'm going to Paris after Egypt so uh, France has a lot of drop zones, so I'll be skydiving there as well. Um, anyways, but I will not be back to Dubai for a long time. 
Um, I know some of you guys are new subscribers and maybe you don't know much about me, but the basis of my channel is me trying to visit every country in the world. Um, but I've been, obviously the world's close, so I can't do that. I've been to 105 countries. I'm trying to visit every country in the world. That is what I, that is my goal right now. I'm not going anywhere else in life until I finish this goal. Hello? Good, how are you? It was good. Thank you. Okay, thanks so much. Bye-bye. Oh, this is so sweet. They just called just to ask me how breakfast was. Anyways, um, yeah, so like I was saying, uh, I have 90 some countries to visit left, and I'm trying to get these countries done. But then the world closed, right? You guys should have seen my plan before COVID happened. I was going to Africa. I already had my whole trip planned. I was going to South Africa, Namibia. All, like I had so many, I had exactly amount, the exact amount of countries I was going to every month, and then COVID happened. So this year is not about getting countries crossed off anymore. This year is just about relaxing, living my life, returning back to places that I love to just enjoy, and that's what I'm doing. So just to catch you guys up, I just wanted to soak in Egypt for a few days before I started doing any he hardcore vlogging. So the last few days, I've just been enjoying the pyramids, showing my girls around um, that brought my Dubai trip. I've been um, going around. I literally just, this is the best experience. This is the best. I've been to Egypt every year for the past four years, which is crazy. And this is definitely the best time I've ever had here in Egypt. I am loving it. And I'm actually going to Luxor tonight on an overnight bus. Um, vlogging that whole experience but there are things I I literally had to leave so much behind I had being in Dubai for five months I had way too much stuff I only have one suitcase one suitcase so I had I lived in a hotel for like three months in Dubai so um, I became friends and family with all the staff and the guy who cleans my room I think he said he's from Nigeria and I was like I know these are girl clothes but do you have sisters a mom aunts anything that need clothes um, and shoes and he literally like looked like he was about to cry he was so happy I gave him like a pile this big of clothes and I gave him a ton of shoes and then I literally just left a ton of stuff in the hotel room and I put a little note on it like please take this stuff I literally have no room so I gave away so much stuff because I don't want to have more than one suitcase living on the road I, I want to travel light so long story short I'm going to the mall right now because I got rid of a lot of stuff so I need to replenish the stuff that I got rid of also I need to buy some more outfits because I'm not going to be showing skin anymore here in Egypt if I do it'll be two seconds for the picture putting the I'm literally wearing this because it's covering up everything I've got my Adidas pants on I'm putting sneakers on I'm covering up because unfortunately not unfortunately but Egyptian men uh, for one are extremely extremely attractive but they're very uh <laughs> how do i put it aggressive and i have gotten into already a situation two situations where uh i was being harassed so since i don't have a man with me uh they do this but uh anyways it was nothing serious and then the military is always there to help me, so every time I get harassed, the military steps in front of me and protects me, so I feel very safe in Egypt, but there still are a lot of men who are so aggressive, and I've been harassed, like, twice already. Anyways, I need to go get more clothes to cover up my body. More clothes, they're just, like, everything's covered. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to just chill today, and then hop on a bus that takes 11 hours, and I'm going to be in Luxor tomorrow, so... I'm gonna go to the mall. Also, I'm not allowed to bring my camera. Cameras are very weird in Egypt. If they feel like you're from a country that they rival with, they'll tell you, put the camera away or we're taking your camera. Or they'll literally just take the camera from you. So my camera is like $7,000. <laughs> no one's taking my camera. With the lens, my camera is like $1,100, uh, $11,000. They're not taking my camera. So I'm being very careful with this camera and I'm going to put it away. I'm putting it away, I'm putting it away and uh, there's designated spots I can videotape though. So anyways, I'm going to the mall and I'll see you guys later.
they made these statues so that they could be reincarnated after they died. They believe that they could re-enter their bodies through these statues after they died. And if they love their wife, they'd put their wife next to them. So look, that's his wife and that's the king. Same over there. His wife next to him and the king. Because uh, also there's another king that they just found recently back there. Um, yeah, like I said, they built these because they believe that basically these statues would be a way for them to re-enter their bodies again after death. You guys are about to get on one of these babies and go tour the Valley of the Kings. I just had to buy this ticket to use my camera and this is the entrance to King Tut and Ramesses' tomb. them so they walk just one ramp and they look there are five other ramps so they just look at that wow long trip so they left it the tomb it's built like a zigzag like a house of a beetle scarab Moramina is the only boy from the family of Ramesses Ramesses has 200 kids had 65 boys and this is the boy number 14 so 13 of his brother died in his life and he got the chance to be the king wow. the master be seen this is what I'm talking about. Power leaves, and he's praying for Horus. And see, from the first look, you can see this one. It's beautiful. See the difference between colored one and cutting one? Yeah. <laughs> More expensive. Guys, we're entering the tomb now. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Be careful here. Okay. This is gonna be a workout. This is gonna be a workout on the way back up. Oh my gosh, you guys look. Oh my goodness. How freaking cool is this crap? So see. Wow. This is a legit tomb. You guys, honestly, Luxor is one of my favorite places I've ever been in my life, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is <laughs> the working here? Where this? I know this. Mm -hmm. You have, you have a little picture that can use. Okay. The camera, very good. Thank you. Oh. Look here. This is chair. This chair here. Yeah. Lion. Oh. I see. Oh, yeah. Lion. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Notice, notice in the crown. Uh huh. I know this here. Yeah. You can glance this again. Wow. wow. More one here. Mm hmm. What's that all here? Hmm. Oh. Look, I see the color. Look at the color. Wow. 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 Only this original. Yeah. Really. Oh. 
Well, the inside, I guess. <laughs> Don't ask me. So you guys basically around here there are like I forget how many how many there are different tombs you can go down it's like thousands we only went down three because oh my god I'm already pooped and we only went down three it's such a workout but all through these valleys are tombs so like that's one tomb you know what I mean that's one tomb and it's insane but he scratched her name away oh. took Moses, her stepson and he added his name in the state this is I explain later the Ankh oh. the Nile, the Delta, the Mediterranean, the East and West now nice. she represented the fertility and the luck impressing her name yeah <laughs> what a cow mm. and the cow is so nice point breathing yeah and the other representation of the cow had to be the cow Look at this, you guys. This is insane. This is not even real. You gotta be kidding me. Lunch time. Yummy. 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 E -e -e -e. I'm so hungry. So if you looked, she bought her earrings. You never find any queen or goddess in Egypt bought earrings. Oh, okay. Or so everyone coming from south of Egypt, he had to put the we all the same colors. So I want to make a difference. You are Egyptian or not Egyptian. Mm -hmm. so they forced them to put the earrings. Oh. She was proud. They were joking about her color in the time. Yeah. She in her tomb. Why the tomb is special? She created her own fashion. She had amazing dresses that the same style we can use it today. Mm -hmm. First woman had a tattoo on her leg. Oh. Okay. She was the proud about her sources in the tomb. She's been colored, not creamy, but in bronze color. Right. I love myself. Yeah. And she kept even. She's a queen now. She she as a sign of noble. She's not putting the earrings because it's mm. a sign of slaves. So uh. she kept both her earrings all the time. Uh. That's why Nefertari. She's the beloved of the hearts. Right. Right. So let us translate it. Nefer Miriam. Uh -huh. It means the most beautiful Miriam. So oh, Nefer, it's Nefer. A title. Okay, okay. It's a title. It means oh. beautiful. Oh. Does it look like a we are here, have 
the honor to meet Her Majesty <laughs> Queen Nefer Miriam. Yeah. You know, she has amazing body. She crossed her hands. She had a head and very beautiful granite body. Ooh, Come to see Alexander all in advance, mm. and they never continue it. They never finish it. Wow. So this is not broken. This is actually not finished. Lucky for unlucky. Yeah. <laughs> unlucky for uh, uh, Alexander the Great. Yeah. Scenes of God Amun and Amenophis the third down of the Roman church scenes. Wow. How cool. Even they make an altar. An yeah, altar. Scenes. Yes. Oh, and we cool. just make this a small uh, door to be crossed inside. Yeah. Guys, I just checked into my hotel room for, let's see, uh, it's five, my bus leaves at nine, so three and a half hours. I literally just got this hotel room because I need to charge things, and I, I literally can't go to sleep. I wanted to, but that's not a possibility. I'm waiting for my freaking bags. They're taking forever, but let's check out the hotel a little bit. It's very nice. You guys, let me just say this. I highly, 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 highly recommend you come to Luxor. It is way better than Cairo. I'm like, what have I been doing my whole life going to Cairo? For what? You guys, look at this beautiful porch situation. I'm about to go sit down and eat. Guys, I just hurry up and got some pasta. I actually did not end up making it on that bus back to Cairo that night. I was way too in love with Luxor. This hotel was beautiful. I wanted to stay and relax. So I ended up booking a flight the next day. Headed back to Cairo the next day. Uh, the flight is super short, super cheap. And honestly, I was dreading it. I did not want to go back to Cairo. Niches your house and get stuff. Yeah, it's usually from this area because it's the cheapest price. Uh -huh. If you guys come here to Egypt, you have to try the sugar cane juice, it is life changing. I have had a ton of sugar cane juice all over this world Cambodia, Vietnam, the Caribbean, South America, but. This is honestly the best sugar cane juice I've ever had in my life. I probably get a cup a day. It also helps with my energy because uh, I haven't been getting a whole lot of sleep uh, moving around these days, traveling, you know. Also, the heat, it helps replenish my sugars from the intense heat that it is that is right now in Egypt. Try sugar cane juice. It's literally everywhere. You can find it everywhere. This is a Hane Khalilido. But you don't have to get it here. Please try it if you come here. It's so delicious. And so it's actually good for you too. And another short-lived stop in Cairo. I did enjoy myself hanging out with friends and some of my followers. But I was ready to leave again. So I took a quick flight to Aswan.
Okay, you guys, I'm gonna give you a room tour of my room here in Aswan. I kind of messed this up already, but ignore that. Okay, so, when you walk in, here's what you see, and then here is the bathroom. And a nice bathtub, look at that, wow. Love that, basic, really clean, really nice bathroom. Then you walk through here and you got yourself a fridge and some water and just tea and stuff and then um, you can like have a peek into the shower right there kind of. And then a bed, a picture of the Nubian town that is here and then a little getting ready area, a couch and I'm about to knock out because I'm so tired and I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. The two temples were built by Ramesses II, okay. the third king of the 19th dynasty from the New Kingdom. He ruled Egypt for about 67 years and was about 97 years old when he died. Mm. Ramesses was a busy man, he had at least 34 wives, but he preferred his wife leave her story to the others. That's why he built her the temple and it was the first time for a king to build a temple for his wife. Okay. Nefertari was Nubian, like right. you, she was so beautiful. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna show uh, you her profile, very similar. I think you are more beautiful than her. Oh my yes. God. And, uh, yes. You see, this is her profile. Oh. Yeah. Same feature, same uh, tool. Yeah. But I think your body is more sexy than her. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you're more beautiful than Nefertari. Right, thank you. Do you have Ramesses or not yet? Huh? Do you have a Ramesses or not yet? No, not yet. It will be a lucky Ramesses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what did Ramses build? Build Nubia. Nub in hieroglyphs means gold. Nubia means land of gold. Because oh. this area was famous for the gold mines, so all the kings were very keen to put Nubia under their control to get the gold. Oh. Do you know the shape? This ship, this ship is called Cartouche. You know? Cartouche, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a necklace. Yeah, nice. Yeah. In which is the name of the king is written. Uh, this is the birth name of Ramses. We say Ramses, but in hieroglyphs his name is Ramses. No, I miss means the border by God Ra. Oh, okay. Amen, the love of God Amen. I finally got a second to myself. The guys here, as you could hear, are very attracted to me. And they don't make it a secret, so I finally slipped away by myself so I can talk to you guys one on one. Look at this. <laughs> Beautiful. How beautiful. Basically, King Ramesses loved himself a whole lot. <laughs> all four of those statues outside are King Ramesses. This is all for him. He very much loved himself. <laughs> Temple. Mm -hmm. This temple was also dedicated to the cow goddess Hathor or Hathor. Mm -hmm. Hathor was a goddess of dancing, music, love, beauty, and fertility, good things. She was depicted as a woman, as a woman with the cow ears and cow eyes, and as a cow, <coughs> because the cow was a symbol of fertility. Okay. The facade here is decorated with six statues representing Ramesses and Nefertari. You see four for Ramesses and just two for Nefertari. Mm -hmm. You see from left, from left seam, Ramesses, Nefertari, Ramesses. Once again, Ramesses. So you guys, this is the temple of Nefertiti, right here. Ramesses, King Ramesses built this for her. Everyone keeps telling me I look like her. <laughs> They're like, you look Nubian. Anyways. And then this is the temple of King Ramesses. Nefertiti, Ramesses. They were discovered, these two temples were buried in underneath sand. Uh, until 1812, I believe he said, and then a Swiss traveler found the temple, but he couldn't go inside um, because it was filled with sand. So um, an Italian man named Giovanni something, I'll put it on the screen, is the first one to actually go inside the temple, like right now. Pictures, videos, nothing can do it justice. I can't explain this stuff. You can't put it into words, videos, nothing. It's too beautiful. 
The pyramids are just pyramids, but this is actual beauty, like breathtaking. It takes your breath away how beautiful it is. And these people here in Aswan, they don't look like the Egyptians in Cairo. They're, I'm so thirsty. I might go back and get a water and a candy bar. But yeah, the guys here are just so aggressive. And it's like, you heard the guy on camera. Like if I got everything on camera, oh my God. These guys are just so horny for me. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like, I think they just really like curvy body types and like the type of, if you have a look where someone can say, what are you? Kidding me? Are you kidding me? <sighs> I can't take this. You guys, I'm really excited to get this video out tonight. I know a lot of you guys have been like, oh my god, where's the video? Where's your new vlog? Trust me, guys, I'm going to post it tonight when I have a chance to breathe. I'm so excited for you guys to see this footage. I really am. And for you guys to see the rest of my trip and for you guys to see where I go next. Like, I just feel so blessed to be able to travel right now. When COVID happened, I was so depressed. Like, so depressed. I had no idea when I was going to travel again. I was always said... Like, another dream job of mine would be a National Geographic photographer. <laughs> and I always think, like, <laughs> I kind of am. <laughs> like, I'm not a National Geographic employee, but I do the same thing as them. Travel the world and get really nice pictures. Yeah, I can't stop taking pictures. Like, I'm heading back, but I'm like, I can't stop taking pictures. It's so beautiful here. This isn't one of the wonders of the world. The, the pyramids are one of the seven wonders, but this isn't. It might be one of the other wonders, isn't it? I got some good pictures. I'm excited to post on the Grizzam. On the Grizzle. Too beautiful, too beautiful. I guess I'll go back now. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to have children and show them all this amazing stuff I've seen. If you guys have kids, show them the world. It's life changing, it's better than school. You sit behind a desk in school and you have someone else tell you something. This is real life. This is insane.